the gaiety lights have gone out. From a doorway across the street, through Dublin smog, figures flicker into view. Unsteady, steadfast, radiant poets, their voices cutting through the fog of war. Amid shell department blocks, living rooms laid waste, their insides hanging out, soft furnishings blown apart, family photos scorched and blistered. Amid the smoking craters, Pierce Hutchinson spikes the muzzles of guns in Sumi with flower petals from baskets woven over decades in bleak Irish correctional institutions by the dispossessed. Compassion not rationed this night, even if just names written in snow. John Jordan, you supervise the cocktails. Teams on street corners in busy Kiev cellars, blending petrol colours that will bleed flame. You built high ramparts from which to pour your boiling oil on tyrants. No doubt remembering when, having nursed you in a Catalan hospital, Sister Purification had asked if sick foreigners received such caring treatment in Ireland. Resistance is also Leland Bardwell, pushing a bicycle and breathing, breaking wave seashore air amid the Kharkiv smoke, walking with the millions displaced, the women trapped, the women fleeing, the women in fear, the children lost, supporting those with broken bones and spirits crushed. Blood congealing on cobblestones, Mariupol flagstones fractured, shattered windows taunting, stained glass. Memories of bejeweled evenings, opera, ballet, recitals. Makdara Woods knows how the light falls on the trenches, the foxholes, distressed family pets, an eyeless skull, the graves of young and old, rhizomes defiant among the stones, outliers for the ranks of corms gathering strength below ground. Mist shrouding the famous for whiskey sign above, we trail behind alert to words dropped on South King Street, alive to echoes of hope prepared to join the chorus confident there can be generosity, comfort for the afflicted, healing for the maimed, balm for all wounds, and as bridges collapse and riverbanks flood in darkness, with old certainty swept away, courage for the frail. In a landscape of ruin, burials and grief, late winter tears nourish the fruits of harvests to come.